This is very much a first step by the Kenyan Parliament today. What they've done is to adopt a motion uh, which would then necessitate Parliament going away and drafting a bill. Uh, the bill would then be voted on by Parliament and if successful, it would then be signed into law by the President. That's the bill to withdraw Kenya from the Rome Statute, which is the international treaty applying to the jurisdiction of the International Criminal Court. However, even if this happens, even if Kenya does withdraw from the Rome Statute, uh, the International Criminal Court will continue with the trial. Uh, that's what they've said, that's what the prosecution team have said, because evidence has been gathered and the trial is set to begin of William Ruto next week. Now, Duncan, how do Kenyans tend to feel about this? I mean, how much popular support is there for putting them on trial when you consider that they voted for Kenyatta knowing the charges he faced? Well, that's very much the case. Yes, of course, Kenya had a general election in March of this year. And at that election, uh, the current president or the new president, Uhuru Kenyatta, and his deputy, uh, William Ruto were voted into office by quite a large margin. In fact, they were elected without the need for a second round runoff. So that suggests, obviously, that there is a groundswell of opinion among the Ken Kenyan uh, electorate against the International Criminal Court. And there have been some vehement um, allegations by the press and supported by many people here that effectively the International Criminal Court is an agency of neo-colonialism, a tool by the West effectively to keep Kenya in place.